Hello everyone, and welcome to an update video for winter 2024 on my channel. There's a lot to cover, so let's just get right into it. I wanted to get this out much sooner. This is like the fifth time I've recorded it, but I got sick and this happened and that happened. So here we are now. I wanted to do this back um, like a week into my Palestine fundraiser sale. And I never did. I mostly just wanted to get across some information that I put on Twitter and Instagram. Um, I said when I was doing the sale that I would donate 75% of the money, meaning that I'd keep 25%. Because I didn't know how, how much I was going to make. I didn't know what I was going to do. Uh, the issue is that you can't really calculate a percent if you don't know the total. So that was just too too broad for me and it felt too greedy as well. So I went in and I did the math and I calculated like the exact amount of money that I would need for the sale to run. That covered the cost of my store subscription for eBay for January, February, and also covered the cost of another roll of filament and some sandpaper. So that was a total of $69.88. In the end, we raised a lot more than that, and the amount right there, the 6988 that I kept, was 9.8% of the total, meaning that I donated the other 90.2%, which is more than 75, so that's pretty good. And in the end, the grand total amount raised for Care for Gaza was $645, which is great. That's awesome. Um, I didn't know it was going to do that well. I, I didn't know what to expect, really. And that's great. We definitely have made a positive change. Um, if you look at the Twitter account for Care for Gaza, they've been posting a lot recently of the things they've been doing. Uh, they've been donating um, donating and delivering uh, bags of flour and other supplies to people in Gaza. And it's just great to know that um, we're helping people. It's not just us, there's a lot of other people that have been donating recently as well. But it's it's great to know and great to see because in times like this when there are horrible things happening in the world, uh, it's important to look at the good side and see that people are helping. You have to see the helpers and, um, you know, just keep in mind that, um, that there is still good in the world and it's important to to see that and to spread the word and to help people and and yeah um i wish things were different about the whole conflict i i wish it was over by now i think we're heading in the right direction but it's slow and it's very frustrating to see but uh i think in the end um you know it'll it'll come to an end eventually and we will definitely see in the history of books uh who was wrong and who was right. But uh, that is that. I think now is the time to talk about other stuff related to my eBay store because the sale did well, but there were a couple of things that didn't go well. Um, mostly just one thing, being uh, late orders. Now this is for a cause, of course, and it's great that we could do that. But in the back of my mind, my other thought in the back of my head was, this is my redemption run because I did a Black Friday sale and that didn't go as well because there were a lot of late orders. So I'm like, all right, I'm doing another sale this time for a cause. I cannot let there be late orders because people are going to be giving me money to donate and then they see their stuff taking forever to come and that just looks very suspicious. So I can't let that happen. Uh, just this month alone, I've seen like three posts on Twitter people in the community that were like, hey, I didn't want to have to do this, but, you know, I bought this thing from so-and-so and it's been so long and they've ghosted me and, you know, I, I don't know where my stuff is. I don't want to ever do that. I try and always, like, communicate what's going on, you know, not every day, but, like, every other day or, or when I can um, if there are delays in an order. But still, you know, no matter what, uh, reason or no reason, I, I just want there to be stuff shipped out on time. I extended my time of shipping and handling near the end of the sale, but it wasn't enough. I had a couple late orders, including the largest order I've ever had. Um, that definitely took a lot out of me, but that wasn't the only reason for why things were the way they were. The main two reasons were school and just my general workflow. 
I'll touch on school in a minute, but the workflow is something that it's needed a change for a while and I need to actually commit to it. I said I would, but then I changed my mind, but now I need to unchange my mind and commit. So when I print out a batch of items, I, you know, they're off the machine, I've inspected them and they're good to go. I then list them on eBay and then I wait for somebody to buy them and then I sand them. Now that works, you know, most of the time, but when I have school and other stuff going on, it uh, gets difficult. So I said I would not do that anymore. And uh, last time, I'm going to say that was the fall or summer update, I believe. Anyways, I started to make changes. Um, troublesome trucks, four plank trucks, some of those like really easy items. I would just sand the whole batch in advance and they'd be ready to go. So when someone orders, uh, all I got to do is clean the item and then put it in the bag and ship it out the door same day or next day. And eBay really liked that because I was a top rated seller. Now with my late orders, um, I'm down to just above standard, which is kind of sad, but I'll get back there. Um, those are easy to do, the trucks. Everything else, like vans, anything that has a curved surface, that takes me much longer to do. And the, you know, the risk there is um, taking so long is those items, when they're being sanded still, they're not on eBay and you can't buy them. And, you know, a couple weeks or a month's gonna go by and no one is able to purchase them. And I'm like, oh, I don't want that to happen. So I would just list the vans and then I would either wait till someone buys them to start stand sanding or I would list them and then I would start and work like an hour a day was my goal. So it kind of worked out and it, it was working out for a while, but then it wasn't because I did a sale, of course. And when you do a sale and the prices are lower, more people come in, more people buy, it gets overwhelming, yada, yada. So I need to just change how I do things permanently. If you look on my store right now, it's actually closed until March 15th. I'm taking time off. I have two orders left to ship for the Palestine fundraiser sale. After I know what those, uh, I'm going to take a break. And then next week, I'm going to get things moving again. And we are going to see where it goes. Um, on the 15th, when it opens again, is everything going to be back in stock? Definitely not. But whatever is back will be back. And it'll be there for purchase to get out as soon as possible. I'm going to go back to getting a full batch of things done in advance, all the way done in advance, ready to go. I've been, you know, going through my process and organizing things and getting stuff ready. We're going to get things done and they're going to be no more late orders unless, you know, something like catastrophic happens. And I, you know, I'd make a, a note about that. But yeah, um, I'm going to print out a whole batch, sand a whole batch, and then list the whole batch when it's ready to go. Um, right now, my first priority, I think, is to be the old vans because they've been gone for a long time. And then next would be a new item that I've been talking about since like October that I just haven't gotten around to uh, finishing yet. I've had like a whole batch of it in the basement for months now in the midst of being sanded. So we're going to get that out the door. But yeah, you know, when something is fully ready to go, it'll be up. And if it's not up, then it means it's not ready yet. And it'll be back whenever it gets done. In addition to that, I'm also going to be listing some other stuff. I'm going to be listing just random uh, wooden railway items, maybe some other stuff too. Just things that I want to get rid of and make some money, as well as some fully painted items. I kind of talked about that like a year ago with my ballast hoppers. But I'm going to try it. I'm going to list a fully painted and customized van uh, glued down to a chassis and sell that and see, you know, if, if that gets sold and maybe we'll do some more. I have a lot of factory era prints um, and those are the ones I keep for myself because usually it's something minor that I can fix or just ignore because it's for me. But, you know, stuff that I can fix, um, I would like to paint up and sell a couple painted things now and then for a, a higher price to make some more money because I'm going to be honest, um, I we made a lot of money during the sale that was donated. 
Roughly that same amount of money is how much money I lost in the past month because of um, stuff coming up in my life and unforeseen events causing me to miss some work. And yeah, um, and I'm at a point right now where I need as much money as I can because uh, it's there's a lot going on and I'm headed towards the end of my education. I'm headed to the end of college and I, I gotta get this taken care of. So yeah, that brings me to my other thing. Like I said, school, um, I'm in my final semester of college and that's pretty tough. It's pretty important. And I need to focus on that. You kind of got a glimpse of this last year in the fall. I did an update video in August, I believe. September, August, and then I was just gone for the rest of the year, with the exception of like two videos, um, one video in a stream or two videos in a stream. I don't, I don't know, but there was barely anything because it was the most stressful semester I've ever had. It was very busy, it was intense, and I just needed to focus on that. This is just like that semester, but worse because it's the last one. I'm taking so many classes, I'm trying to get everything done, and I just need to focus on that because it's important um, and I got to focus on what's important. So I'm taking a full hiatus from everything. I'm not going to be making any videos, not going to be working on my series, not going to be doing anything, just uh, working on school and prints because I need to graduate and I need to make as much money as I can. It's unfortunate. It's the reality of things and that sounds kind of scummy of me that's like oh i just gotta make all the money but it's like i'm just being honest like i it's gonna be very important pretty soon so you know we'll we'll get there when we get there i mentioned that there were big life changes coming and some of them were last year there's gonna be a few more this year that are gonna affect me and the channel and yeah i just gotta stay ahead of this and be prepared so that's about it to recap this whole thing raised a total of 645 dollars for the palestine fundraiser sale which went really well with the exception of some late orders to combat late orders in the future i'm completely redoing my workflow for ebay i am printing out a batch of items fully sanding the batch of items and getting them all ready before they're listed instead of kind of somewhere in the middle and then sanding them when people order them or right before I'm just gonna get everything ready in advance which is gonna take a lot longer to get stuff back in stock but it's gonna be worth it and I'm gonna fully commit to it I'm also gonna be listing other stuff on eBay such as random wooden railway items and some fully painted custom prints and stuff and last but not least I'm taking a complete hiatus from everything. Uh, not working on any videos at all because I need to focus on making money and most importantly graduating college. So that is that. A lot of people, you know, when they hit college, they're like, well, I'm out of here or I got to take all this time off or, you know, because it's important. And I never wanted to do that because I love doing this so much. But it's at a point where I... I don't have a choice and I it's just it's for the best and it's only temporary you know it's not forever because like I said it's the end I'm gonna graduate and then I'm gonna be done so if I could just stop and push through to the end um it'll be okay and we'll have time after so that's that um that's everything and no matter how many times I try I can't keep this under 15 minutes so I'm going to wrap it up right here. Thank you all for listening and for being patient since like August. Um, I know it's not fun when there's no videos out. I like making videos, whether it's my series or just anything else. I have a lot of plans, but they all have to be put on pause for a, a couple more months so I can focus on what's important and just be prepared for the real world. So... That, uh, that's that. I think I've said that's that like five times now. So, anyways, thank you all for listening, and I hope to see you again soon. Maybe during spring break, or if I get some amount of free time, but soon. See you later.